Hey guys, Andrew McFarlane here from StartedJuiceBar.com. Hope you are feeling amazing. I am here at a new development building, uh, just perspective location, doing a little analysis um, in terms of the possibility of opening a, a business here I wanted to talk about logos logos there's a sign logos for your juice business um, your logo should be connected to your brand now where do you find a good logo how do you approach getting a good logo uh, there are a few resources I want to share with you. For me initially, when I had my business logo made, I went to a website called 99designs.com. A really, really good website. Uh, if you're on a budget, I would say that my experience is that a lot of times the logos are very, they have a certain kind of aesthetic that sort of is universal to a lot of the, the brands there. And so, you may not find as much uniqueness, but it may serve the purpose for what your needs are in this phase of your business. Now, what makes a good logo? You have to think, one thing I wanna share with you is that the mind works in archetypes. You have to think about even, let's say, signs. I'm looking at the street sign here, right? Uh, you can see this sign, maybe you can see it behind me. Where is it? There. So you see this sign, it's a turning sign. Now, the sign could say turn left only or it can have this arrow that says left turn only um, the reason i point this out is because it's very important for you guys to realize in your visual marketing and that the mind works in archetypes meaning that it can it will register a symbol of something and understand what that is before it reads the word and then understands what that is so if I see an image of a tree, I can register that's, that's a tree before I see the word tree and understand that that is a tree. The reason I bring this up is because with your logo, your logo is in a lot of ways visual, mark, visual marketing and brand development and building brand is all about creating impressions in people's minds, associations. Um, and so it's important to think about what is the, what is the uh, experience that you want people to have when they think about your brand and also how can you convey that message in a way that is easy to understand, visually appealing, and having all the right associations. I have a client that I'm working with right now and they, they've been in business for a while and we're in the process of redoing their, their logo because what we've established is that, I'm actually going to put my bag down, um, what we've established is that their logo is not embodying the qualities that they want their business to embody. It's a little bit too... Uh, you could say health focused in a certain kind of way and I guess it's sensitive to say that but there's businesses that can almost feel so healthy that it ostracizes people some people depending on what you're going for now this is a restaurant this isn't just a juice bar um, their focus is also uh, food and hot food and cooked food it's all plant based and vegan but it's not really meant to feel like you're gonna go in there and do a cleanse. But the way that their logo is designed and even the name of the business, it sort of, kind of it starts to give people the impression of that. And so we're gonna go and redo their logo just so that when people see the logo, it doesn't turn them off or give them, once again, the wrong impression. And it's all about creating the right impression because no matter what you're doing, you are creating impressions in people's minds from the way that you design your space to your logo to everything that you do. The question is, is, are you telling the right story? 
So your logo should be an extension of that. You want to make sure you tell the right story to your audience, to your customers, to your community, so that they know what they're getting into and are actually inspired to participate in that. Um, I actually have a design team as well, so if you guys want support and you want to talk through the process of putting your logo together, you can reach out to me, andrew at startedjuicebar.com, or you can comment below this video. If you have anything to add to this conversation or any questions, you can also put it in the comment box below. All right, hope you guys are having a beautiful day, and I'll see you soon.